but we're on my home turf. I fished out here for many years. Still getting to fish with my buddy, Mr. Bradley, too. So, very fresh white bass fillets. This is Bradley's recipe. A little lime juice in the bag here. Lemon pepper. And olive oil. I don't know what that is. Welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We're so glad you tuned in to join us for another exciting real-world outdoor adventure right here on A Sportsman's Life. Hi folks, it's your old buddy Luke Clayton and welcome to this week's A Sportsman's Life. We're out at Lake Ray Hubbard just east of Dallas. Raz and Sergeant, my buddy, Lance Slinger's Guide Service. Some gulls or birds chirping around. You probably hear those. Jeff Rice, this is the first time these two rascals have had a chance to fish together, right, Jeff? Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we've had we've been at the uh, the rendezvous and uh, just a little whiskey together, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's exciting to get out with Brandon. And uh, what are we what are we targeting today? White bass. White bass. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. Well, you, you got reason to be excited. Yeah. I fish. There's one problem with fishing with this rascal there, you know. You won't come back till the limit is landed. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm just kidding. Now, we're going to catch some, and hopefully, we've got some wine and some uh, oil and a grill. We're going to grill some white bass, right? Well, let's Sounds get good, going good. fishing, and folks, you join us out on the water. You're going to see a bunch of this going on. Brandon also makes I'm going to tell you what he makes. He makes a lead slab, which is a, a lead spoon with a rattle in it. I have, I've written about slabs for 35 years, and I know a lot of people have, have made them in the past. I've never seen a lead slab with a rattle in it until... It's a game changer. Guaranteed to work, right, buddy? Well, let's go get them. Here we go. Let's go get them. Will you go fishing with, uh, with Brandon at uh, Lead Slinger's Guide Fishing here? I'm telling you what. The accommodations on the boat are spectacular. I know the fishing will be just as good. It's going to be good. This boat is 24, 25 foot long. Aluminum. You don't see many boats like this. Good boat, good guy. What else could you ask for, right? Had a good light. A good light. Don't worry about it. We're only my home turf. I've fished out here for many years. Still getting the fish with my buddy, Mr. Brad. All right. We're coming out. We're getting ready to move it on. Here we go. Yep, we definitely have some fish in here. All right, let's see what we can do here. Something in a splashing. Yeah, it's no something up here is eating. We need something down there eating. Yeah, right. The sonars are the name of the game. They say open water schooling species. They're, that's what they do, and they, they move a lot, don't they? Mm -hmm. Let's go try it out, huh? Yeah. That's Looks a, like a bunch of fish right that there. That is a bunch of fish. So we move on? Or do you want to hang it for a second here? See if they show up for us. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah. Try something new. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. That one up there. Here he comes. Oh yeah, there's two fillets. Saw him coming. See that? You see him, Jeff? Yep. You jump almost out of the water for the little bit. Yep. They might start rolling in here. Really? You got something down there at the bottom. You can't get slowly down there at the bottom. Yeah. Come on. that 
15 pound flathead can happen at any time. You catch a lot of catfish on these as well, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I mean, we're, we're getting them here and there. I mean, we've got two fillets of pea, so we, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna move this. You gotta see the honey hole. You gotta find it. Brought to you by Dallas Safari Club, conservation, education, and hunter advocacy. Hornaday, accurate, deadly, dependable. Taurus Firearms, maker of the Raging Hunter. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. There he is. Oh, when you get it in there close to yep. them, they are on it. They want it. Look at that. Ah, that's okay. Fought hard, you deserve to get loose. We'll get your brother. Come on. Hit it on the fall, and he hit it. He's coming after mine. Oh. Look at him, Jeff. Look at him, buddy. That's crazy. That's a good one there, man. That is. Good slaughter one. Here we go, on the fall. Yeah. Oh, you let go. I haven't thrown any. I got them stacked up in the floor for now. I mean, they're so good, but you can't take time to. Oh, get ready. Oh, right here at the top. Son of a gun. Did you see that? Yeah. I mean, he was inches from the top. Look here, this one hit a foot below the surface. Look at that, look at that. Yep. That's pretty. That's a video. <laughs> Video's rolling. <laughs> it don't get any better. Look at this. Where'd we go? <laughs> come on, baby, come on. There we go. Oh, you little stinker. Oh, man. I had him right there. Quite amazing that you can actually just watch yeah. all the action. Damn, they're hitting it on the fall. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I watch this. Three. Here we go. Come yeah, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it. That was a nice one. Ooh. Dang, right there. Look at that one. Oh, no. <laughs> you reel it all the way up. That's why. Yeah, I, I didn't four realize. Four feet and then just pull up yep. and it swings right got it. to you. Got it. Yeah, I forgot oh, I had that hook good. on there. They're here, man. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at them all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that slab. Yeah, let's look at all of them down there, Jeff. Ooh. Oh. And we're on. Um, high limit you bought so fast? That's yeah. a hybrid you got to hit. Yep. Yes. Oh. Here they are. This is. Look at them chasing the. This is fun. <laughs> See him any on there? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Little stinker. You had a mighty look at this girl. They are loaded in there, aren't they? <laughs> oh, Absolutely boy. loaded. It's amazing what that screen shows you. Fast and furious. Big time. Oh. Come on. They'll hit it on the fall, they'll hit it on the rise. Yep. I'll tell you, this one is pulling oh, Look at them all coming. I might have Here we go. Watch this. Yeah. Doesn't take much. You can see them coming. Coming in the pot. Okay. Yep. Oh. There you go. Made out of lead bullets that shot in a pellet gun. Oh. Yeah, literally. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them back there lingering behind the hill. <laughs> They're down here lingering. There's a bunch of them in there. They're all keepers, too. Yeah, they are. Nope. Yeah. Oh. There he is. There he comes. There he goes. Whoa. These are the fighting this 
Nice one. Darn right. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's almost like playing a video game because you're watching these stinkers. I quit. Oh, man. I quit watching it out there. I know what's going to happen. Hit it on the fall. Another hybrid. I can't believe all these hybrids. Oh. Beautiful fish. That is a gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous. A little small, maybe? No, that's money. That's money. money. That's yep. a money fish? Yep. 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 All right. Here we go again. Just crazy watching your lure go down. You get it to that right spot. Hop it once. That little fish right there. Get around there. Got him on the single hook there. <laughs> Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. I must have two. Oh, the reason why I can't reel. Yep. Yo, oh, look at him try to hit that thing. It's crazy. Okay, we'll stop her about right there. You can see my bait right here. Yeah, I'll hop it a couple times. Okay, we got a couple coming. We'll crank right up. Watch this. <laughs> there we go. Got yeah. him right at the top. <laughs> That's how it's done. Well, that Watch this right there. here. Here we go. Watch him come up and grab that thing. Come on. There we go. We all got one. Oh, I lost it. <sighs> oh, here's a good one. Look here. And they're thick. That's a good one. Oh, look at these guys. Up high. I know. They're like right here. <laughs> I've only seen it one time when I pulled my lure out of the water. A sand bass nailed it out of the sky, bro. Strippers will do that, I guess. Yeah. Pretty regular, you know. Ah. Oh, he almost hit it right there at the surface. Oh, he did hit it. He bumped it. They're right down at the bottom. Drop it all the way down. Yeah, we found the fish. I changed the theory of uh, fishing to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> yeah. You go catching now. Go catching. crazy that you hit the bottom and you just start reeling. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even really need to look at the graph, but it's more fun if you Chase it there for a second. There we go. Come on. Go. They're all come chasing on. you. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Yeah. Bring it up a little too much that time. <laughs> Got you a good one there, Lee? Well, I'm not a foul different one, but he's sure cool. Yeah, he's a good one. Hybrid? No, sandbag. There you go, buddy. That's what we're looking for. You want to stop, take a break, take a pictures? Sure. Uh, okay, here's your one. Here's this is good. Yeah, oh, I still got him on there. Biggest. You better keep going so oh. we get our okay. Okay. Right. I think we've done well. There is no doubt about it. Checking them all, make sure they're good. Yeah, I'm going to go right straight down. Right all. Right. 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 Yep. Okay, you can assign me to cooking or whatever. Yeah. We have got our fish marinating. Oh, it's electric, I'll tell you. And we've got Luke yeah, firing up the grill. 
Yeah, it's on three, let's see. Very fresh white bass fillets. This is Brandon's recipe. A little lime juice in the bag here. Lemon pepper and olive oil. And an electric grill out here on the dock. Jeff, I can already smell that fish. And it smells pretty doggone good. Yes, it does. Catch and cook here, buddy. Yeah, I think wow. that's what they call catch, cook, and eat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. I like this little grill. Oh, smell that. Yes, sir. Ooh, boy. I don't think it's going to get any better than this. No, sir. Brandon's over there. Just load the last. Finishing up the fillets back there. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. First time I've actually used this little grill, but I like this a lot. Oh, we yeah. have something here to oh, yeah. baste it with. Yep, keep that for basting more fish if you need know be. What I think we'll do, I think I'll take it on my own to put this lid on there. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll take a look at it here in just a little bit. We'll be eating good soon. I think so. <laughs> there we go. Brandon, we like your we like your recipe, buddy. <laughs> Brandon's been over there cleaning fish while we've been cooking. Oh my gosh. So the team the finished right? product. Nice work, boys. All right, let's chow down. What I do think we uh we need to chow down. Friends, thank you again, you. Brandon. What a great time. <laughs> we wish you were with us, folks. All right, right. let's thank eat you. some fish. Sportsman's Life is also brought to you by The Wyo Steakhouse Catch and Release Apparel AGM Global Vision H3 Whitetail Solutions And Pyramid Air Hello sports fans, this is Bill Carey The Old Man at Striper Express With your fishing tip this week on A Sportsman's Life you know what this is, don't you? This is a dip net. Did you notice it's made of rubber? This is the only way to go. When you're jig fishing, you only got one hook. But a lure has two trebles, and this is the only way they come out faster. You hang it up in a nylon net, we've all been there. During topwater action, everything's crazy. Now, how do you use it? You don't chase that fish. You tell that person, hold your rod up, hold your rod up. And then like a shovel, you just slice that water up and over. That's how you do it down right in front of the fish head first always head first it'll jump out of the net like a shovel just slice that water and bring that fish up there is your tip this week rubber nets like a shovel slice that water head first so there's your fishing tip this week on a sportsman's life go catch a fish While Luke, Brandon, and I wrap up a fantastic day on the water, Larry was in Isla Mujeres, Mexico, just off the coast of Cancun, attending his grandson's wedding. While there, Larry was able to sneak out for a little offshore fishing.
Larry was fishing with Keen M Sports Fishing and Blue Water Encounters. Folks, this segment was brought to us by Gearhead Archery, Smoke Intex Electric Smokers, Snaplock Hunting Blinds, Y.O. Ranch Headquarters, Ultramatic Feeders, and Catfish Pro. Tune in next week for some more real-world outdoor adventures right here on A Sportsman's Life.